Uh, Campbell from Boxing Talk here. We're pleased with Daniel Jacobs. Daniel, Daniel's going to be in the U.S. Olympic Trials starting in two weeks. Daniel, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us your hometown, um, your rec amateur record, weight class, things like that. Uh, my name is Daniel Jacobs. I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, my weight class is the middleweight division, which is 165 pounds. I'm uh, I'm currently, uh, damn. Right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Your amateur record. Oh, okay. My amateur record is 135.5, and, and uh, how'd you qualify for these uh, this tournament, the Olympic Trials? I qualified through the first, uh, the first qualifier, which was the National PAL, and um, ever since then I've just been training hard, getting ready for this Olympic trial. Okay. Um, you're from Brownsville, man. It's a famous boxing yeah, area. Yeah. Talking about some what's like uh, training, growing up, training that area. Well, growing up, it was pretty tough. I mean, it made me a tough kid inside and out so you know going into the ring is, is a lot easier than if I was from the suburbs or somewhere like that you see what I'm saying so but I got a lot of uh, great partners in uh, Brownsville as far as uh, sparring partners and teammates tell us about your gym and uh, kind of people uh, I come from Coney Island Boxing Gym okay uh, we got Gary Starks we got uh, Louis Galazzo J. Don Codrington Curtis Stevens me and Joe Green the chin uh, yeah the chin checkers you got a lot of great guys coming from Brownsville Brooklyn and uh, just to have that atmosphere is great so it made me into the champ that I am, well, the upcoming champ that I am today. Uh, you got Mark Breland work, helping, yeah. out, helping out in training, working in the corner. Was that like having a world champion? And, and the gold medals, I mean, he's been through all this already. Yeah, he's been through this whole experience, so he understands what I'm going through. So he's just uh, basically, you know, teaching me and lecturing me inside and out the ring how to, you know, how to act and how to move, different jabs, different, how to control the fight, different things he's showing me. But my uh, prior, my main trainer, Victor Roundtree, you know, we've been at it since day one, and Victor's been showing me everything. So, I mean, I got a good squad. And my uh, third trainer, Andre Rosier, will be coming up here shortly. Uh, I just got a, a great team, so you can look forward to uh, great things. You're real tall, slick boxer. Yeah. Tell, tell us about your style. What do you think of your strengths? Uh, I think my strengths are, I have heart. Uh, but my uh, main strength is my speed and my movement. I have good movement. I mean, I have, I think I have a, enough power to get somebody down, but I probably, I probably use my speed more than anything. Look, looking over the Joshes, man, your weight class is packed. Yeah. I'm sure at this point you, you know all your rivals real well. You yeah. guys have been fighting each other in the major tournaments and coming up together. Uh, talk about some of the top guys in your division. Uh, some of the, I mean, everybody's and a top guy. Faced. Everybody's a top guy. I fought mostly everybody. It's only about one guy that I didn't fight coming from the JOs. Uh, but everybody in the middleweight division is tough. So to win that, you got to be really tough and you got to have a lot of heart and good boxing ability. Okay. Focused on Olympic trials, but uh, down the road after after you're done with your career, you plan on turning pro? Oh, definitely. Most definitely I plan on turning pro. Uh, my dreams is to become a champion, amateur and pro. So. I'm going to go pro right after the Olympics and uh, pursue my dream to becoming a world champion. Awesome. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you during the trials, and Thank we'll you. talk to you again. Take care.